talk about students that have failed and we talk about the arrogance of the profession and all of that. And I think one of the things I come across from students is the fear that their failure is going to, or if they fail or since they have failed, it's going to impact their career negatively. So you've, you've been, you know, you've, you've been a partner at, 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 um, at Grant Thornton, you've worked on, you know, all sides of the table. Would you employ, have you employed, how do you see students that have failed and have struggled with exams? I see students who fail with exams to bring so many more other qualities to the table. Mm. And especially people who fail multiple times and they come back and they come back and they pass. Yeah. That shows incredible resilience. Yeah, that's true. So I'll switch it about and I'll give you an example of the other side of the coin. So I was senior manager and we were doing, it's a recruitment phase here called the milk round. Essentially it's where graduates um, meet the bigger firms and then okay. they, the bigger firms agree to have their intake and you go through the interview process or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So one girl was interviewed and um, arrived as a trainee and she got a first class degree in accounting from one of the major universities here. And she, she struggled so much so she yeah. failed every one of her exams um, in her first year of accounting and then she left. Okay. And that's where the shoe was on the other foot, where you've strived mm -hmm. completely through academia, but then whenever you meet mm -hmm. failure, you maybe aren't developed enough in your mental resilience to pursue Agreed. it forward because yeah. you see all the success. So yeah. occasionally, and this sounds really, really counterintuitive, but a fail might work in your advantage. Might. Yeah. I because agree. it builds you up so much to strive and to move forward. Yeah. Now, yeah. So would I give someone a job who has failed if they show me other traits? Hell yeah. Mm. Without a doubt. If they show me that, they're, they're, that they've got the dedication, that they're willing to put a shift in at work, if yeah. they're willing to help others, if they're willing to be a team player, um, yeah. if they've got the other softer skills, if, they're, if they've got empathy mm. with people, if they can relate, all that, yeah, yeah. no problem. Because if you yeah. adopt the right processes, which we tell our clients or our students, yeah. They will yeah. pass if they go through yeah. that process. Yeah. And I think what people forget is that um, life experience is so much more important than a piece of paper. You know, the piece of paper is valuable and we know that and you need that qualification. But as you say, failure is what teaches you life experience. Completely. Failure teaches you resilience. Failure teaches you empathy for other people. Struggling teaches you... Um, you know, how to find creative solutions, <laughs> and different ways of doing things and the need to find an alternative approach or problem solution. So I think that's, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear you say that because I see it very much the same way. My um, biggest, my biggest, or sorry, I had two or three massive pieces of inspiration in my life to get me where I've got, gotten to. And one of which happened when I was 11 years of age. I yeah. failed, we have a transfer, we had a transfer test here whenever I was, I was about 10 years of age to go from primary school to, to secondary and high school. And there are certain levels of high school, high school here and depending yeah. on your results of that test. And I got the lowest grade in that test Oops. whenever I was 10 years of age. Oh. That was never the issue though. The issue was my headmaster who was, who was decrepit, who was very, very old. And yeah. he, he came up with my face two weeks later and said I was stupid. I wasn't going to pass anyway. Um, so from that failure, give me this massive yeah. inspiration to go and prove him wrong, which I did do. Right. Right. Yeah. So again, failure, you flip it and use it as inspiration yeah. to go and move forward. It's a huge thing. Yeah. Step. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't, don't let it stop you. And I think we need to stop all, and it's, e it's easier said than done. No question, but we need to stop worrying so much about how other people see us. Oh, completely. Yeah, we need, we you need to stop worrying about what other people say, you know, or, or how other people perceive us. Because in a lot of cases, we're wrong. You know, in a lot of cases, we think other people judge us or, you know, uh, think we're stupid or whatever the case is. And in, in a, as you say, you're, you're sitting on the other side of the table and you have more respect for the person. And that person is feeling ashamed. <laughs> yeah. It's like, so you need to stop worrying.